as we approach 2022 we are at that two year mark of having been familiarized ravaged and compromised by the covid 19 virus many of us started working from our homes in 2020 and even after two years after several doses of vaccines there is no end at sight for us to return back to our offices the virus is not remotely extinct and it will definitely be a part of our lives for the rest of humanity it will possibly end up being non-lethal like the common cold and cough with omicron raging the world over and spreading like wildfire my prediction is that we will spend 2022 as well working from the comfort of our homes or should i say far away from the natural working habitat which is our offices i honestly don't see us going back to offices with this scenario my prediction is that for the year 2022 the topmost priority or the element that differentiates between success and failure is underline this virtual leadership you might think that we leaders have become masters of virtual leadership with the experience gained over the last two years not nearly enough while the first year consumed us with gawking and getting our homes home, our home offices ready the second year we were playing catch up to the year that we lost most in the IT field working out of their homes have become task oriented and they have started to get more comfortable in completing the tasks as the vaccination picked up and as the number of cases went down before the omicron variant of course offices around the world started to open up many it folks started to tailor their trousers for the for their incoherent ways now with omicron it appears in all likelihood that we are lurking towards a third year of working from our homes this has put the focus on leading teams virtually because way the way it was done the previous two years does not cut it anymore there are a number of blinders that have set in which will bring in a lot of inefficiencies in the current scenario of home working there is no longer room for interpersonal relationships leaders are becoming helpless their team control through physical presence and handing out directions is no longer working for obvious reasons in my opinion leaders have reached a crossroad where they must change their tact or pray to god that corona vanishes away overnight to be fair monitoring teams work is not the same as it used to happen during our office days if a leader wants the same experience asking your team members to turn on their camera as they work is not an option so if you are a leader then how do you get a handle on the team's progress if you are not really in sync with the team's deliveries then how can you provide rapid feedback moreover giving feedback remotely does not carry the same subtlety as face-to-face -face interaction does for example a leader can pass on a feedback in a breakout area while working in an office during remote working either the leader has to provide the feedback in a group setting or one-on-one -on -one setting no matter how the leader passes the feedback to his team member it will not be the same as a feedback in the breakout area the remote feedback becomes official and on the record as opposed to providing feedback casually the next big challenge is bringing the sense of working together as a team i'm not saying that it is not possible but it is not straightforward bonding the team to work as a group is not easy this becomes all the more harder if the new team members have never worked with each other in an office setting with remote working the focus is always about completing tasks that are on your plate rather than building relationships and creating a positive environment with teamwork taking a hit the next big challenge for team members is the feeling of isolation we are physical beings no matter how flat the world is and how remote working has eased the pains of travel and logistics 
the experience of working in a physical environment is something most team members will miss dearly and this will impact work most definitely these i believe are some of the major challenges that are in place for leaders and the call is for the leaders to adapt to the new situation and continue leading the teams with the former glory to meet the challenges head on a virtual leader needs to make certain adjustments to the way you approach leadership i have broken down the changes to be brought about into five principles they are as follows i will go through them in detail after listing them number 1 lose the urge to control your team number 2 empower your team to take their own decisions number 3 trust but verify do not micromanage number 4 outcomes are important not the means number 5 create an environment to get feedback from your team a virtual leader must start somewhere and a good start will be to lose control it's not easy as said but leaders must take cognizance of their control traits and muzzle it lose the urge to check in on your team members every so often to check the progress trust your team members to come through with the goods and go from there i have seen leaders track the logins and the breaks too these should become immaterial in the world of remote what matters are the outcomes letting go of control is hard but it is a start and a must for virtual leadership to take shape once a leader lets go of control the control cannot just vanish or it cannot stay in vacuum that control needs to go into the hands of somebody that is where the leader empowers the team to self supervise and manage themselves there is nothing better than instilling confidence in the team that the leadership trusts them to do not only their job but also to manage themselves on a side note a study published on sage journal notes that team leaders often underplay the work done by team members to showcase the value of their leadership as a result these team members take all the control into their hands and ensure that the team members become only the doers with minimal decision making powers this has the potential to derail the performance of the entire team i will share the link of this white paper in the description section below there is a russian proverb that translates to trust but verify during the reagan era this adage became popular and you may have heard it too well in this context of virtual leadership it is very apt while you empower the team to manage their work and produce results it is important that leaders check in at a frequency that does not fall into the micromanagement category you know what i mean right do not micromanage the work like asking them every few hours on the status instead meetings like an end of the day sync or a daily stand up as the day begins is a good idea to keep a finger on the delivery pulse the focus must always be on the outcomes how your team members come up with the goods and how they do it should be immaterial for the most part in fact that shouldn't be a criteria at all when you give the team the autonomy to manage their work respect it and go after the outcomes rather than the means everybody on the team will have their preferred style of working i for one cannot brainstorm in a meeting i need to be alone to come up with ideas if i am forced into a brainstorming meetings my ideas will be at best mediocre a good leader would let me work the way that suits my style Victor Frankl a famous holocaust survivor has recommended that the statue of liberty be supplemented by a statue of responsibility i'll tell you how this connects to virtual leadership while we give our team members the liberty to work in their style they are expected to respond with the responsibility that is expected from them a leader 
in addition must also create an atmosphere of transparency where team members can speak their mind without the fear of retribution. There are scripted feedback surveys like the 360 degrees feedback, but the most effective is if the openness and speaking up happens in real time. In the virtual world, there are no formal forums like breakout areas and feedback does not always flow to the leaders. It is in this context that leaders should put extra effort to solicit feedback and look at the feedback constructively. To reiterate, the five principles on which virtual leadership stands a chance are lose the urge to control your team, empower your team to take their decisions, trust but verify, do not micromanage, outcomes are important, not the means, create an environment to get feedback from your team. Remote working is no longer new and research has shown that it is at par with office working. The factor that can make this possible is effective virtual leadership. The leadership style change will not happen overnight. A leader must make conscious effort to bring about the changes in himself or herself and find ways to make the remote team work as though they were sitting in, a, in, a, in an office. They were co located the five principles that I stated is just a start for a virtual leader to become a good leader in these pandemic times.